just right now we are going to start this engine up I'm going to move the camera, get it over the top of this filter, you can look at it, and this is a really neat deal. This is amazing how fast you can check it, and anybody out there that has checked oil filters in the past, this thing is a must to have. Okay, now we're ready to run the engine. What we're going to do is start the engine. What's going to happen is oil will flow through this inlet line into the filter assembly, through the radial grooves, down through the filter element, out through the filter base and back into the engine. What's going to happen is while the motor is running you'll be able to see the oil pumping through the filter assembly to determine the condition of the fluid being filtered to see if it's dirty or needs to be changed. Then we're going to shut the engine off. What's going to happen is we're going to apply a little bit of air to this air valve assembly on the side of the filter inlet. The filter will empty a fluid and it actually will just push back through the inlet and the outlet opening lines and empty the filter assembly completely. <clears throat> this will enable you to visually see any contaminants that are trapped in the filter element for visual inspection to determine if engine parts are excessively wearing inside the engine. This will make it helpful to determine if there's a problem and the engine needs to be looked at for further repairs. Okay, we're going to start the engine and you'll be able to visually see the fluid being pumped through the filter assembly. Okay, now you can see the oil the oil is not transparent. We cannot see the filter element. What we're going to do is we're going to apply a little bit of air pressure through an air chuck fitting to this air fitting on the side. What it's going to do is it's going to push the oil out through the outlet opening back into the engine and allow us to see the filter element in here. And again, it's not going to take a very much air pressure. Basically a simple shot of air and the, it'll just take a couple of seconds and then the filter assembly will completely drain to where right now you can see every part of the filter element. Now you can determine if your filter has any particles in there that need to cause concern. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start the engine again and you'll see just how fast the filter assembly will fill. It just takes a split second and the filter assembly is back full applying oil pressure to the engine. Okay, now we'll start the engine and you'll see it just takes a split second to fill the filter assembly. Now after the engine is shut off, another quick shot of air to the filter assembly. The oil will completely drain and exposing the filter element to where we can visually see now for any contaminants at all. The filter is completely drained. I can see every particle that if there was any you can see them that they're on the filter element. Okay now what we're going to do is we're going to start the engine again. We're going to shut the engine off put a little air pressure to it and basically see just how many seconds it takes to empty the filter. Okay, we're going to start the engine. Basically, you come back to the pits. You want to check to see if anything's wrong with your engine. A little shot of air. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005, 1,006. There it is. Completely spotless. Six seconds it takes to completely empty the filter to be able to visually examine for any particles that are caught in the filter element to determine if your engine has a problem. Again, in six seconds, we were able to come back and empty the filter element to where you can visually inspect the filter. Okay, we're going to start the engine.
And what I'm going to do is I want to zoom in just a little bit, give you guys a better idea of what it looks like. Okay, now we're going to give it a little shot of air. Matter of seconds, it's going to expose the filter element. You can see the oil getting pushed through it right there. Completely exposes the filter element. Now you can look in here and you can see if there was any particles that could tell you that the motor was hurt, you would be able to see the particles and be able to shut the engine off, not run it again, or determine where the particles could possibly be coming from. This is going to be a great early warning device and not only an early warning device, an early warning device that only takes seconds to check. This is an amazing item. Everybody that has one is going to save time and money. This is the first time ever that you can have a fluid filter assembly that you can visually see the filter element without unbolting, unfastening, draining any of the fluid out of it. This patent pending billet fluid filter assembly is far ahead of its time. In the last 28 years, I've put everything that I believe an engine needs into this one fluid filter assembly. It also has a filter element bypass valve that if the fluid filter gets plugged up, it'll bypass fluid not to hurt your engine. That is one thing that most disposable filters do not have, and that is a big problem. I've rebuilt hundreds of engines because of the filter plugging up and restricting the flow of fluid to the engine. This fluid filter assembly will not restrict the flow of fluid to your engine even if it is full of dirt and contaminants. This filter is designed to last forever. You can take it apart, you can clean your filter element, you can bolt it back in there and it should not wear out. There's no parts in this thing that should ever wear out besides three common O-rings and a filter element. That filter element is around $40 and the O-rings are around two, three dollars a piece. You know, it's un unbelievable how inexpensive it is to maintain this filter assembly. This should be the last filter assembly that you ever buy for that application that it's bolted to. If you want more information, check out clearviewfiltration.com and also check out billetconnection.com. It's a company that we are designing and developing also new products and we are building bracket kits and alternator bracket kits and some different application parts that will be able to mount this filter assembly to your engine. So check out our websites and if you need more information after checking them out, contact us and uh, we'll be happy to talk to you and tell you more about this patent pending Clearview Filtration billet fluid filter assembly.